Um, have you seen players do things when even you or other devs were like, oh wow, I didn't know you could do that? Uh, yes, all the time, actually. S like, this is no surprise to anyone. Or, for, for fellow game developers, you know how it'd be. Um, there's always things in your games that people do that you didn't realize. Because there's so many people playing your game, and like... Like an example of that is if you if you had like let me see what we can do some quick math there. Like say that you have like a QA tester or something playing the game for you know every day for for a month say so they're doing forty hours times four right that's one hundred sixty hours right of of somebody doing nothing but playing the game which is also unrealistic right. <clears throat> um, and then you release the game and then one hundred thousand people are playing your game. Let's say that they do that under a weekend. So that's 100,000 players times 48. Let's say they play the entire 48 hours. Then they played for 4,800,000 hours compared to 160 hours of QA testing, right? So putting a game out there means that there's a ton of more p people playing it and there's a ton more like testing, so to speak, going on. Uh, and obviously there's gonna be like cases where people figure out ways that you haven't thought about because there's just the quantity of people playing it. Um, and this is something that I think, like this this is something that I brought up during discussion of QA testing a lot, where people are like, how could you not find this during QA testing? And it's just like, because it is impossible to test to the same degree as when a game is released. It is impossible. Like we can't have, like even if we work for years with like whole division of people play testing something like when as soon as you release it there's gonna be a ton more people playing it um, so so there's a ton of things that people have done that we haven't thought about because people have so much more time than us uh, like collaborating and like figuring out stuff this is also partly why the speedrunning community is so cool because speedrunning community is like sets out to like figures like break stuff and figure out like how to get around stuff and they share knowledge between each other and the same thing happens in the community like people figure out like oh if you do this thing then you don't have to do that and then if you don't do, have to do that then they can do this thing and it like spirals kind of out of control so people do things that we didn't anticipate and, and that's good that's really good it's really cool because it helps us figure out like if we're on the right track or not um like the cheat creed is a good example the thing where some of the collisions didn't have foundation uh, some of the foundations didn't have collision because that led for to people to be able to build in a way that we didn't anticipate. And that makes us go, huh, that's interesting. Maybe that should be how we should be built, like letting people blame the game. Um, so yes, there's definitely cases where people do stuff that we didn't anticipate and, and we thoroughly enjoy that. Even if it's bugs, like, like we don't want, they ha there hasn't been a lot of bugs where like people break the game in a way that we didn't like. Um, the hypertube is a good example of this because the hypertube is something that we didn't anticipate. Um, but when we saw that and we saw like there was there was like sort of there's a trade-off to the hypertube candle even in that bug where it costs so much power to set it up. So when we saw that we were like, huh, that's unintentional, but also kind of cool because there's there's a trade-off to it and we kind of like that trade-off so we haven't changed it since and we don't we don't have any plans of removing the hyper cannons anything like that um so so yeah i think the hyper cannon hyper tube acceleration thing is one of our favorites uh because that became a feature uh or like we don't really see it as a bug necessarily we, we see it as like it, it builds upon some of the design decisions we took when we made the hypertubes in general um, and then people found another way to use them and we were like all right that's pretty cool so yeah it's a clever use of, of game mechanics as far as we can tell